welcome back to the Dolboat Fishing Adventures and here we go, out the boat, bring it on. Beautiful day. Little bit of wind for a few hours and then dropping off to nothing this afternoon, but unfortunately uh, with a bit of rain. But it is what it is, who cares? So just coming up the itching, just gone part, gone under the itching bridge, shall I say. Lovely jubbly, look at that. Bank holiday weekend. Can't believe I'm taking the morning off of work as it's Sunday, but uh, unfortunately, in all day tomorrow, I'm bank holiday, who cares? It is what it is. As long as I can get out fishing once, that's all that matters. There's Ocean Village. Let's get out there. So yeah, hopefully um, target is going to be, I'm going to say place. I'm going to try a different spot, see what happens. Uh, I'm still convinced those three fish, including that nice one I had last Friday, were one off, so I'm not going to worry about uh, where I'll get them from the sole mark. So I'm going to go out to one of my other marks out the solar down towards Hill Edge and uh, just see what happens. I've got loads of worms from uh, Bill's Bait and Tackle as usual and they are cracking. Just the right size, Nothing, no monsters. Nice decent, nice decent worms from the old place. got a third one with me and that's the old lab rack special HPO N70 although it is primarily a lure rod with my van style PR <laughs> I haven't actually used it for lure fishing yet so there's almost a brand of rod and reel and I'm just using it for line line to make fishing today And obviously the Fenor sea spins. I thought I'd put the radar on and say it's not something I use often only when needed so it is good just to run her up and everything just make sure the radar's all working you never know that's all good by the length of it right container ship there with a couple of tugs don't know if he's uh, coming in or they're uh, just putting away from the dock Find out regardless, so I hope I should be able to cut in over that shallower water. A bit of tide there, take the time and uh, cut the corner in. Bring it on. Right, let's get out there. Well, that's the first cast done. Usual place rigs I'm using. So it's Sakuma fluorocarbon, 20 pounds. Snoods, or trace line, should I say. Plenty of bling. And uh, Sakuma size two pros. And as you can see, it's an absolute glorious day. Bit of wind, I'll say it's almost, yeah, a bit of an east. East there, North East maybe. Very light, nothing to worry about. Uh, oh, we've got the first bite going on on one of the rods there. Probably the usual, uh, you know what. 
So two single flowing traces and one two up flowing trace. So we'll just have to see how it goes, but uh, it's absolutely glorious, isn't it? <laughs> nice when it's like this, beautiful. Oh, uh, what was it? The uh, Cunard, uh, is it Queen Victoria? It's all that coming in. Absolutely amazing cruise ship by Cunard. Yeah, absolutely stunning. Oh, look at that. Isn't that nice? It's supposed to be uh, coming in a bit warmer next week. Or towards the end of the week, sort of like up to. Eventually 18, 19 degrees, but look at them worms. Beautiful worms. Plenty of them. As I say, you know me, I do like to take it out of the peat if I can, if I've got time, which I did last night. Put it in the old vermiculite. <coughs> Just makes life easier baiting up, and to be fair, it's not quite so messy around the boat. Oh, it's still going that rod, I'll tell you what. Let's have a look at it. Bear with. Oh, let's get that on the head. Right then, let's have a look. Obviously it's gonna be one of the usual suspects. Something there. Doggy coming to the surface, so it's not what I want. <laughs> and there's a surprise. There we go. Reasonably hooked, go on, over there you bugger. As I say, they're nice sized worms these are. Just right for placing in the sun there. Bit of bling. Little spinner blade there. Nice bits of tail, usual beads, and a rig stop. Let's wash my hands off. There we go. Right, let's get it back out there. Happy days. A few little rattles going on, but uh, don't think it's anything that I want, but. lovely even that bit of breeze feels quite warm <laughs> it feels pleasant for a change now a dog Get out of the way of the other rod. Might be able to get him over here. That's a little bit close. Come on, away from that other rod. Number two, dog. Number two. Come here, you bugger. Hopefully, this is the fish from during the night. It skim me a little bugger. Use your finger as a disgorger. If you can. Oh, he's a little git. Just move them out of the way. Come on, where are you? Go that way. 
We look good. Come on. Let's be having you. Oh. No, he ain't coming. There we go. Got him. There we go. Happy days. Right, before he bleeds, get over there, you get. Right, let's get her back, Dane. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh. Another the rod going then? Maybe. Right, oh, let's get it back out of there. Another dog, I think. Yep. <laughs> Bugger off doggies. Especially when they're getting smaller. So much nice, nicer putting your worms in uh, vermiculite. At the moment, I'm just putting single worms on. Just to pace myself on the worms. Get you down a bit. Something like that. Because it doesn't take too long for the old bait to start going through it, especially when you have got the usual nuisance fish there. Ah, doggy, skim me. Not the first time, won't be the last. Oh, I've got a feeling that could be the last of the sun. <laughs> that was brief. As I say, they are giving a, a few showers later. Well, I was hoping the sun would have, uh, the cloud wouldn't have come through quite as quick, but it is what it is. So at the moment, just the three dogs. And something on it. Another doggy. <laughs> Number four. Yeah. Just for a change, a bit of weed as well. Come on. That water's certainly got a, a better colour in it now. All nicely in the in the lip there. Quite in the bone, so happy days should come out reasonably well. There we go. Go on, bugger off. Feel grumpy you've been caught. couple of little worms as so I'm trying to slow down and wait for the best part of the tide and then I'll start loading loading up the bait more it's literally just uh, dead slack now so we'll start to pick up in a bit happy days well like they said the old wind has picked up now. Sort of like the east, southeast, which ain't helping matters. I'm hoping. Oh, that's just come off, isn't it? I think that was what we were after then. Just had a feeling that was staying deep. <laughs> Typical. Right, let's get it back out there. I'm convinced it was. Yeah, the more I'm thinking about that on that last fish, 99.9% .9 sure that was uh, a flatty. Stayed deep, little tentative little nods. 
must have just had the end of a end of a worm but unfortunately the dogfish uh, now that tide's just picking up it's just coming through again i've just had one second ago and once again it's going i'm definitely a doggy but no it's dropped it good just try and keep away from them that's what i'm trying i just got me little uh, labricks out there just bouncing on the bottom just keeping it off so you never know that might pick one up like that trying to keep the baits moving Yeah, I'm on fish, where are you? Looks like I might have a smart ear. I heard the, the ratchet screaming off. Let's uh let's see what we got. Didn't that have, <laughs> absolutely screamed off? Staying deep now and heavy. Absolutely went mental. Let's have a look. Oh, it's, it's heavy now. See, we're wrapping up in the trace. So hope it ain't caught me over rods. Because that looks as though that might have gone slack, that line. The leader's on. What have we got? Oh no, it's a ray. <laughs> nice. I prefer that than a smut. Ah, nice little thorn back. Come on. Now he's up the arse. Come on, give me that. There we go. Nice. I'm certainly uh, pleased with that. I don't mind rays. Nice little male thorn back there. Ah, uh, he's well looked. Right, I'm gonna cut that trace off and get him back. Happy days. It's nice to see a little thorn back, so I'm pleased with that. This one's bouncing away now, my little uh, HTO, Labyrinth Special, and to be fair, probably another, or it's probably a dog, shall I say. Yeah, it's going right to the surface there. Oh no, what we got? Oh, a little bass. Well, that's what this uh, 400 pound rod's designed for, I suppose, but uh, <laughs> not the biggest bass in the world, but it's another species. So, so far that's seven dogs, this little schoolie, and uh, that male thornback. Happy days, go on, back you go. Right, let's get it back out there. Here we go, doggy. No, missed it. Oh no, 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 you're still there. Swimming up tight, yeah, here we go. What have we got, a small little smooth hound or something? Staying deep, don't think it's what we're after. There you go, small little schmunter. <clears throat> Thought it was.
There we go. Oh well, different species. Quite surprised, still nothing uh, what I'm after yet, but it is what it is. Get it back down there. That's a slightly different bite. I think it's another little schoolie. Two little taps. Something there, look at that. It's either that or a small bream. Regardless, it's on. What we got? Take your time, Dobbs. I think it's only a little bass. Yeah, it's not staying deep or nothing. What we got? <laughs> yeah. Little bass. Thought it might be. Number two little bass. There we go, little schoolie. But still not what we're after. Just starting to drizzle. that out so we'll just freshen up the bottom end of the baits I'll oh, just get it back out Oh, it looks like the old bass are back on the feet in that little bit of tide. Getting quite a few little rattles on this, the two up trace. No, it's left it. But I do have to say, it has gone a bit quieter in the last hour or so. I've got my mate Gar fishing there in his rib. So between us, hopefully we'll see one. Yeah, there's quite a bit of east there now. Still, plenty of time. At least there's a bit of tide there now. Always uh, improves your fishing. Hopefully some fish will run through with this tide, so we'll see. See how it goes. Another little schoolie, happy days. I have to say it is uh, got something on it. Doggy, I think. That tide's just starting to try to turn now. Yeah. Doggy. Happy day, another one. <laughs> Not what we want. Right, this is a bit of a weird bite then. Could this finally be what I'm after? It's staying deep. Or is it a smut or a conga? I don't know. Oh, it doesn't feel like it now. Oh, gutted. It's coming up weird. What we got? Oh, that's weird. I really thought that was what we were hoping for, but 
It is what it is, right? Let's get it back down there. Eh? Well, welcome back. That's me done. Packed up about half an hour ago. Just coming into dog bed now. Yeah, it went very, very quiet this afternoon. Just a couple of more dogs. Enjoyable day, but it's always nice when you get your target in it. But today wasn't the day. But that's uh, that's probably it for me for place fishing now. Must admit, I did say that last time, but um, but no, that's it. Smooth hands next, I suppose. Go down on the usual mark, and uh, I see there's one or two doubles coming out now, so it's definitely got to be worth a go for the old smuts, and we'll see uh, see how we get on. Uh, I must admit as well that that rain today did not help. Uh, later on in the afternoon, it really did come down, real sort of like heavy drizzle, solid, not nice. I was even struggling with the uh, canopy there, it was sort of like just packing in a little bit, but it is what it is. Just people in now, nice little slow jaunt, all nice and clean, washed down, happy days, and uh, yeah. So I think it was, uh, I'll have to check, but it was 11 dogfish, 9 bass, 1 smut, and that bonus thornback. So I was pleased with the thornback, if nothing else. But a place certainly wouldn't have gone amiss. Absolutely enjoyed it. Look at it now, that wind's completely gone off, which they did say in the afternoon it would. So happy day. Well, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you haven't already done so, please, uh, Hit the subscribe, hit the like, and uh, if, you, if you feel like it, share away. Happy days. Thank you again. That's it. Smooth hounds and nets.